Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to do a number three with the blade at the bottom. First, you wanna drape the client. When you put the neck strip on, remember to um, fold it like this so you don't get hair on the client's clothes. Let me go over the clippers real quick, like I always do. I use two sets of Andy's TI liners. One, the same way it comes from the factory. The other one, I make the blades closer together so it can cut sharper. This helps me get rid of the line from the shaver or from the blade, if I do a blade at the bottom. Then I use the Andy's Masters to get rid of the line from the edgers. This one, I set them up to cut really close so the zero is really low. From factory, they usually come like this. I set them up to cut like this. In my other video, I show how to set up the clippers like this. And then the wall seniors, just the same way they come from the store, I don't mess with the blades. First, we're gonna use the number 08 on the speedo guide, or how we call it, the number three, the low three. We're gonna use this to the top. I'm gonna put some oil on the clippers so it can run better. There we go. Now I said this before on my other videos, for the corners on a lot of people, you wanna use a number just a little bit higher to do the corners. Because a lot of pe a lot of guys, they get the corners a little lighter. So I'm gonna do a high three right here in these two corners. That way when I do the shape up, it's gonna come out sharper. Now, always remember to keep the client's face clean. You don't wanna keep his face full of hair. First, I'm gonna use the T-out liners, the ones that I have not adjusted. These are the same way they came from the factory. This is a mid high fade. First, we're gonna take the T-out liners and go all around, make our guy line all around the head. You wanna make sure the line on both sides is at the same height. You check it like this. You wanna make the line drop just a little bit. Okay, not much, just a little bit. Because for the back, you always need a little bit more space to fade it out. When doing a ball fade, you can either do it with uh, wall shavers, I mean with any shaver, an Norelco, whatever you prefer, or with the blade. Now remember, always to change the blade in front of the client, so they know they're getting a new blade. When doing a ball fade, you can either use a blade or a shaver. I find it that it's faster with the shaver and it's pretty much the same results, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do it with the blade also. In my other videos, I show how to use the Norelco also. Remember, always when you're using the blade to use a comb instead of a brush because the comb stays sanitized, so it's more professional to do it that way. We're gonna start with a low zero from the Andes Masters. I always do one side of the head first and then the other side. I find that that is faster that way, but even more important, when you're dealing with a new client, if you do one side first and the client wants it a little bit higher or a little bit shorter, you can always go back and just repeat that one side. If you do the whole head, if the client wants to change anything, 
if the client wants it higher, you gotta do the whole head all over again. This is why you need a pair of T outliners and set them up to cut really short. That way it gets rid of the line from the blade or from the shaver really easy. Now we're gonna go back to the zero with the Andes and just flicker it just a little bit. Now we're gonna close these down a little bit. Okay, just pass the first line. Then you wanna push this down to the second line. Now we're gonna use the wall seniors. We're gonna set it up on high, the high zero. Now the low half. I like to call my wall seniors when they're set on low, low half. The ones I call low zero are my Andes masters because these I have the blades set up to cut really close. Remember to keep the wrist in a circular motion. That's how we get rid of the lines. Now we're gonna use the number one on the wall seniors. We're gonna set it up on high. And then we're gonna bring it to low. The reason I use two sets of clippers, the Wall Seniors and the Andes Masters, is to make my life easier when I'm cutting. To make the blend a lot easier. If I would've used the, the number two on the Wall Seniors, it'll be harder to get rid of the line. From here, from the, low, from the number two to the number one on the Wall Seniors, there's a bigger gap than from the low two on the Andes Masters or the number zero to a number one and a half on the wall seniors. So when you're working with these clippers like that, you're, um, you're making your life a lot easier. There's a smaller gap in between them. It's way easier that way. Now, I'm gonna use the half guard on the wall seniors. You always wanna check the haircut in the mirror. Here I see I, get, I need to go back to the half on the wall seniors and fade this out a little bit more. Now I use the number zero again, or low two with the Andes Masters. And it's pretty much done now. It's pretty much perfect, but just to give it a little final touch, I'm gonna use the one and a half with the Wall Seniors. Same steps we use on the left side, we're gonna use them on the right side. First, I'm gonna lower this with the low zero from the Andes Masters. The reason being, I'm not gonna go straight to the edgers because it might, they might get stuck because the hair is kinda long. So we wanna bring that down just a little bit, okay? Notice how with the edgers that are set up to cut really short, they get rid of the line from the blade really easy. Now we go back to a low zero from the Andes Masters. Now remember the wrist movement in a circular motion. 
Then we bring this down just a little bit to the first line. Now we're gonna use the high half from the wall seniors. We're gonna use the low half, bring this down. If you're a new barber, I recommend you start with everything. With everything that I have, the thinning shears with 40 teeth, the shaver, the blade, um, two pairs of TL liners, the Andes Masters, the Wall Seniors. If you're short on money, I recommend you start with the Wall Seniors and the TL liners, just to get yourself started, okay? However, you do wanna get all your equipment as soon as you can. Because this one is gonna make your life a lot easier, plus it's gonna help you get rid of the line from the TL liners. Without this one, it's a little bit harder to get rid of the line from the TL liners. You have to blend in more, it takes more time, it's a little bit harder that way. Gotta set up on high. Bend down. Bend down to low. If you're gonna have your Andes Masters set up to cut really short, keep in mind when you put on a guard, you wanna bring it up to like this level right here. Okay? What happens is you bring it all the way in, it's gonna start sounding like that. And what happens is, is that it starts eating out the inside of your guard. That's not good, okay? So just keep in mind, if you're gonna set them up the way I got them, which I highly recommend, you wanna keep it to the like this line. You wanna be able to see the first line when you put on a guard. That's the same for the, when you put on any of the guards. Just make sure you do that. Okay. Now we're gonna use the number one on the wall seniors. Set it up on high, one and a half. Now we bring it down to low. Now we're gonna use the half guard on the wall seniors. You always wanna check with your mirror. Now I'm gonna go back to the low two on the Andes Masters. And finally, back to the one and a half on the wall seniors. Now we're done with the fade. Check it out. Now, every time you have a new customer, you wanna ask that customer a lot of questions. You wanna ask how he wants his fade. You wanna find out if he wants a low fade, a mid fade, a high fade, a high and tight. Now we're gonna do the shape up. Now remember not to push back the edge. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it right where it's supposed to be at, right where it's at, right where the hair starts growing. When you're doing the shape up, you wanna use a comb instead of a brush. You have more control with the comb. You always wanna check the edge with the mirror. You wanna stand behind the client. That way you can look at it better. Like right here, I see that it needs to, I need to bring this up a little bit. To line up the lip, Use your edgers that you kept the same way they came from the store. Don't use the ones that you adjusted to cut closer. 
because those might actually cut your client on the lip. If the client has some hairs on their nose, hook them up. These are little details that go a long way. Some barbers, to do a beer, they do a whole thing with the clippers first and then they use the blade. If you're just starting out, I recommend, yeah, try that way until you feel comfortable. But then, as soon as you can, start going straight to the blade. It's faster that way. It just saves you a lot of time. But just to show you guys, if you're gonna start out with the clippers, same, same steps. You wanna do the bottom first. Usually, I go straight to the blade to do this step right here. I'm doing it like this to demonstrate for the new barbers, but as soon as you feel comfortable using the blade, don't trace it first with the edges. Just go straight to the blade because this is going to save you a lot of time, and time is money. Remember to do the bottom line first. You're going to use that as your guide, okay? And also, use the jaw, the jaw line as your guide. Okay, I'll be showing you guys how to do a hot towel shave. First, I'm gonna apply this shaving cream. Usually, I use the hot lather shaving cream, but to use the hot towel, I like this better. To do a hot towel shave, this is how you do it. Take away the excess water. Then you put it in the microwave for a minute. I like to put it for a minute and 15 seconds. Okay. This right here softens out the pores, so it makes it easier for you to shave the client. This is a good service to do in the client. Takes a little bit more time, but it's worth it. Now we change the blade again. Remember, you always wanna be working with a sharp blade, okay? You don't wanna be working with a dull blade. You don't get your lines as sharp, and it pulls hair, so it's not a good thing to do. I usually go through two or three blades when I'm doing somebody's beard and shape up and eyebrows. This is how you hold the blade right here. Okay. The blade and the comb, remember, not a brush. Use your other hand to stretch the skin. Put a little bit of pressure when you're cutting, when you're shaving. You want to put a little bit of pressure but not too much pressure because then you're going to end up cutting the client. Remember to lay the client back, have the client comfortable. You want to clean your blade and your comb on a towel. You don't want to clean it on your jacket or on your client's cape. Now we're gonna do the inside of the chin. He gets a triangle here under the lip. You always wanna ask the client how they want it. Now, keep in mind, there are different types of beers, okay? You have a thick beer, skinny beer. I'll show you guys more different styles in the other videos. Now, for this particular client, he gets a thin, what we call pencil thin. Keep in mind, in the inside, you can make it round, like I have it right now. You can make it square, you can, make, you can leave a line in the middle, you can leave a line straight up, you can leave the triangle with a line. There's different styles that you can do. I'll be showing you that in the other videos. Notice how to do this line in the inside. I'm doing it from the inside like this, okay? Use a black towel to wipe off the blade and comb.
Now this client, he gets it right here, he gets a square. So remember to ask your clients if they want a square, if they want a round. Never assume anything, okay? Don't be scared to apply a little bit of pressure when you're shaving the client. As long as you stretch the skin and you have the blade at an angle, almost flat with the skin, you're not gonna cut them. Here's a little trick guys, when you do the shape up with your comb, you want to comb it down. See how there's a little hair right here sticking out? Got it. You put your comb down, you hold it with a comb, and you cut it. I'm doing the eyebrows. Remember, when you're doing this, the bottom part of the eyebrows, stand behind the client. Stretch the eyelid out a little bit. To cut under, to cut the bottom of the eyebrow. Keep in mind, you don't want to make the customer's eyebrows too thin unless they ask you to. If it's a first time customer, you want to leave the eyebrows actually not that skinny. You want to do the client's ears too. It only takes about a couple seconds and it's always a good thing, you know? It's good to look out for the customers like that. Now finally, when applying the alcohol, you want to do it with a paper towel. Spray it into the paper towel. If you have one of these at the barbershop we work at, use it. All right guys, here you have it, a mid-high ball fit. For more videos, check us out, famemasterysvideos.com.